Let's go over some comments today. There were some funny comments. Uh, okay, let's go. Starting from now. So Red Bull says, yeah, you got the W in Lewis's stream. You see how much Lewis was getting triggered? And then uh, and then, then Lewis uses Rabbit Dude. So, okay, but didn't I tell you guys this before? That Rabbit Dude is just used in their streams to do the banning so that the actual streamer whether it's d reed or dean tv or darius truxton or lewis or whoever when the actual streamer is asked why would you ban him they're just gonna say it wasn't me it was rabbit dude that's what rabbit dude is used for is just to do the banning because the real streamers that are the actually the people that are running the stream they don't want to have to face the fact and be like oh yeah i felt i've banned him because of this 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 because they know that you know they're soft you know they're cocked you know that they're going to get destroyed in every argument. So that's why they use Rabbit Dude to do the banning. So that's what happened to you, Red Bull. Is that you were making fun of Luis Pereira. And he was getting triggered. And then it was Rabbit Dude who timed you out and banned you. And then Luis Pereira is like, it wasn't me. It was Rabbit Dude. I told you this is what he's used for. I told you. I'm 100% correct. Uh, let's see what we got here. There was such a... One funny comment really made me laugh. Uh... Paternity test says, I hope Darius plays more Power Watch for eight hours. Yeah, where's Darius Truxton? He ain't busy. He's at home right now doing nothing, sitting on his futon, smoking weed, being a deadbeat loser with no career prospects. Where is he? Hurry up and live stream. We're waiting. Who who the hell is uh, Larry Beta Cuck Bundy Jr.? Who's Larry Bundy Jr.? Wh which account is Larry Bundy Jr.? That guy looks like he just got off the short bus. Um... See what else we got here. Mallory Woods and Francis Pineda on wiping butts for a living. I don't know who those two are. Um, so then I saw Legend of Aaron Marriage Freeman make this whole song here. I don't even know where that song's from. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up. What song? What song are you trying to reference? I have no idea. Shinra, Orbalology is the, the alt account of Shinra. Orbalology is so beautiful. I don't care if she has a nasty cold sore. Of course, of course the real Shinra doesn't care. He's the biggest beta male. I have never seen, when you look at Shinra from afar, I have never seen a more cucked beta male in my life. That guy's literally at Starbucks with his latte, reading a book in front of the fireplace, being cucked. There's, he doesn't have one masculine bone in his body. This is a classic. Then Joker was saying a bunch of things about Gen X Gamer moving and all that. Yeah, who cares about Gen X Gamer? He just stole, he stole our joke. He stole the Intellivision jokes. He ended up getting monetized. And now go ahead. So for everyone asking me to go back to Intellivision and Miko rants, go support the guy that you supported to get monetized. Have fun. The, the, the people have spoken who they like to hear. A Volpe. I think, okay, so a lot of people are saying that the alt account of uh, A Volpe People are saying it's Uyamika. I can I can see that. I can like the, those kind of style of videos and that kind of humor. I can see that coming from Uyamika. But who knows who it is? It could be A Volp himself. It could actually be A Volp. Because remember, that's what Volp is. If subliminally Volp is a fox, a fox is known as a trick, like someone who tricks you, someone who deceives you. It's in his name. Volp is in his name. Legend of Nelda, a link to the fats. Keep saying I keep deleting a comment. No, I don't. I don't know what he's going on about. Wizard of IDGAF. For some reason, he doesn't roast you. I can't help to think that he and his incels are afraid of you. Yes, they are. They are. They have. Ne That's why they continue to roast people that don't talk back to them or don't respond to them. He continues to roast Level 1 Online. He continues to roast... 8-Bit uh, Eric, he continues to roast all these other people because he because they're not going to respond to him, right? They have better things to do. Like actually have, they have big channels that they need to th take care of, right? He knows that I am going to completely respond and completely roast him back. So he's scared to mention my name. Darius Truxton is completely scared. But I see in the streaming, I see in the stream chat that they're trying to get him to talk about me, but he doesn't. Why? Because he knows he's going to get roasted. He knows everything I say in my videos is true. He knows that. You know what else is funny, guys? I uh, This is really funny. I went on Rumble, like without being signed in on Rumble, I went on I went on Rumble, and in the search bar, I typed in, uh, I typed in Darius Truxton in the search bar, and the funny thing is, is when you type in Darius Truxton in the Rumble sh uh, search bar, all my videos came up. <laughs> Every, all of my videos of me making fun of Darius Truxton came up in the search 
in, in the search results. Good. That was the plan. The plan was that he's this Darius trucks that Keith Elwood, this admitted incel, is trying to run away to some third party platform like Rumble and BitChute. My plan was no, I'm going to upload my videos there too. You're not going anywhere. And now when you type in Darius trucks in the search bar in Rumble, all my videos show up. Good. You can't run away, ca uh, Darius Truxton, you cack, you creep, the one who proposed to Ursha Gaming with Amiibo toys, you're such a loser. So yeah, wizard, uh, and yeah, if you have an opinion, he's just gonna ban you. Now, now you understand, I allow anything in my comments, have whatever, whatever opinion you want, go ahead. But uh, if you try to voice your opinion in Darius Truxton's live stream or whatever, he's just gonna ban you, and then what are you gonna do? Then you're, then you're gonna wish that you just went against him the whole time. Alt account one says, according to Potion, Retro Bro is trying to get on Albert's good side. Is Retro Bro trying to join the incel army? <laughs> Why? Who cares about Albert Menendez? Why would anyone want to get on his on either of his side? The guy's a homeless bum. All right, deadbeat father. Can't see. His, he's definitely not seeing his two daughters this weekend. The guy got caught publicly masturbating in public. Got a misdemeanor charge. You see his mug shots. They're public. Oh, this is. This is the comment that made me laugh so much. This is the comment that made this. If you want to know what my humor is like, it's this right here. Bladder Puncher says, Yo, Slotham, question. Is it a blue tarp, sleeping bag, or tent? Answer. It can be all three depending on the configuration of hobo sticks and string. <laughs> that made me laugh when I read that first time. Yesterday, that made me laugh so much. Because exactly, it, depending on whatever he configures, it can be either of those three, right? Blue tarp, sleeping bag, or tent. And then to add on to that bladder puncher, depending on environment conditions, right? If it's really windy that day, maybe a tent isn't the best idea, right? Maybe maybe you can uh, set up a sleeping bag in the bushes so the wind doesn't get to you. And maybe, maybe if the ground is... Uh, Maybe if the soil is too hard, you can't make a tent. You gotta wait till it's a little bit moist. Then you can stick the hobo sticks in the ground and then it'll hold. And then if Albert Menendez one day decides to maybe uh, post up for the night since he's homeless, post up maybe near a wall of a business, maybe just hang up, a, maybe just tie a string to the wall to, to, the, to the garbage dumpster beside him, make a, make a little blue tarp roof on him. That's exactly what he would do. This is... If this kind of thing, if in, in, in a Seinfeld episode, Jerry would ask George or Kramer, is it a blue tarp, sleeping bag, or tent? And George or Kramer would answer with that answer. That is that is pretty much my humor. And then Sean Murray Cupcake Eater, out of nowhere, what flavor of cupcakes does Sean Murray like the most? <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, Darius Truxton cries all the time. Let's see what else we got. So we got Darius Truxton using a Lawrence Dagstein alt account here. Go on your real account, Darius. Go comment on your real account, you, 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 you prick, you coward. What's wrong? Why can't you, you? We know you have a bunch of alt accounts, Darius Truxton. Just go on your real account and talk. Instead, he goes on alt accounts to say, uh, to comment. Remember when he's, remember when Darius Truxton said, he's done with me. He's done commenting on my channel. He's done talking about it and roasting with me. He can't. Because I'm just going to keep going at him and he's not going to stop and there's nothing he can do about it. Yeah, w Willie Robinson is trying to call out Dave C. Yeah, Dave C., you're you're an alleged woman beater, right? You abuse women and then you also drink alcohol. Is that true, Dave C.? And then someone said um, that Dave C. is the next to get exposed. I'm ready to see that. I'm ready to see his information. Yeah, Lewis Diarrhea says Dave C. from Oregon exposure is coming soon as well. Yeah, I'd like to see that. That guy abuses women. Is that what he did? He abused his wife? Or beat his wife or something like that. Of course, Dave C's not going to respond. He's a piece of trash. Louis Diarrhea. Um, Louis Pereira made a video. Louis Pereira made the most in the closet video I've seen today. Like, disgusting. I don't want to see that kind of in the closet stuff. Like, keep that to yourself, Louis Diarrhea. We know you're in the closet. We know you're cross eyed. We know you're ugly. We know you do these weird bathhouse things. Keep that to yourself. I don't want to see that trash. No one wants to see it. No one wants to see it. If someone like Donald Reed, that fake wankster, is openly looking at that video and be like, yeah, this is great. There's something wrong with you. Okay, you're, 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 it's just weird. I don't want to see that stuff. Uh, Lord Maximus Slotham, he sounds so wound up. Hey, Lord Maximus, Jacob North, you've been exposed. We know you look like you're on meth. You look like a cancer patient. You look like you just got, off the, got out of the crack house. You're living your little low-income house and your low-income living style. Like, get the hell out of here. You've been exposed and you're going to continue to get exposed. How does that make you feel, Jacob? 
Yeah, Louis Diarrhea says Alpha Nerd was the first to expose Keith's name. Without him, nobody would know his real name. They just enjoy making 8-Bit Eric the scapegoat. And then Zelda Fan 1987 says, yes, I remember that. But yeah, Alpha Nerd was the first to expose his name and location. I wish he had kept doing it. Okay, so if that's true, if that's true, like that's true, right? Like Alpha Nerd was the first one to say, look into my eyes, Darius Truxton, Keith Elwood of Gray's Road. Why would he say Gray's Road? Gray's Road is a road in Hamilton slash Stony Creek. And there's one apartment building on that road. Then that's where he is. With process, if it is actually Gray's Road, with process of elimination, that address that was posted in my video two days ago or yesterday, that is the location then, with process of elimination. Because there's only one apartment building on Gray's Road, and that's it. And we know that Darius Truxton, the cuck, the poor incel, lives in an apartment. He's not living in no uh, house or anything like that. He's got a dirty vent above his head. He can't even bother, can't even bother to clean it. And he lived there like for ages. So that apartment is the location. It has to be. Unless, unless across the street from that apartment, there's those businesses which have those, you know, single bedroom studio apartments above it, above the stores, then it's there. It's one or the other. And with process of elimination on Gray's Road, which Alpha Nerd Entertainment said, look into my eyes, Darius Trucks and Keith Elwood of Gray's Road. That's the location then. Do, go ahead, do, look into it. Do the investigation. Look into it then. See if, see if you can find out ways to be like, hey, can we, can we confirm one of your residents or whatever? I don't know. But if you guys are the pros at doing that, look into it. Look into those areas. Because by process of elimination, it has to be those on Gray's Road. Okay, we got here. Johnny Appleseed, give, give, tell me why you're just saying dairy tea. What's the reference of dairy? Is it just something random you picked or is there a reason you're calling uh, Darius Dairy? Okay, Shinra, the, the real Shinra is just a troll. He's just there to see, he's just there to see the train wreck. Because the only, the comment that Shinra says on my comment thing is, you just want back into the Truxton army. Admit it. Like, come on, that's obviously a troll comment. <laughs> Anyone, not, not even, not even the Truxton army incel members are going to say something like that. Shinra is just there to troll and just enjoy the train wreck of Darius Truxton and laugh as well. Someone like David Richmond that worked at Cummings Inc. that worked in a, in a corporate environment, there's no way you're, someone like you that worked in a corporate environment that's a beta cuck male is going to look at Darius Truxton and be like, yeah, he's doing great in life. There's no way. I, I'm not that stupid. I know. I know what your thought process is. So this comment, you just want back into the Truxton army, admit it, is just a troll comment. It's just, so Shinra, Shinra and Avolp are two people that are just there to instigate, stir the pot, and then also enjoy the drama and enjoy the show. Because it is funny in the end. And yeah, Shinra is uh, simping for Orbalology. Then his comments get deleted. And then Shinra writes in my comment section, I didn't delete my comments. So either... Emily deleted your comments because you're a creep or you deleted your own comment. Which one is it? Either way, you're still a beta male cuck loser. Cheesy Chester says you're better than Darius Truxton in every way. Anyone, anyone is better than Darius Truxton in any way. In any way. Social, financial, uh, uh, love life, money-wise, family-wise, being a creep. Uh, just any, any kind of aspect in life that to improve on or whatever your anyone is better than Darius Truxton he's the biggest loser ever the biggest and he puts on this facade and this act like he's so cool like it's he constantly he constantly says oh it's my community oh uh, he's like sloth and what are you gonna do when because my community kicked you out? it's not your community you're, you're the biggest insult ever Darius you've been fired from Franklin Empire you had your real life affected because of YouTube you're the one who took the loss so, uh, Snake Community Exposed says, how many viewers can you get on a live stream? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to live stream Diablo 4. Maybe maybe the when they release the beta that we have to test the beta on, uh, I think it's the week of 17, uh, 8, 17, 18, 19 or whatever. Anyone's allowed in my chat too. Go ahead. I'm not going to ban anyone. I'm not going to be like, oh, you're bothered. I don't care. Nothing bothers me. Anyone's allowed. I'm obviously going to put on that... Um, I'm letting you guys know now, I'm going to put on that subscriber only for 
whatever, two or three days. I'm letting you know now. So if you're going to be one of those um, from the rat community, the trucks and army community, go ahead, subscribe on your, what are your alt accounts so that you can chat in my live stream. Cause I'm going to have that setting on broken dreams, AKA Sean Murray. Um, the, the cupcake eater, uh, it says nobody on, on this earth is jealous of your fish lips, alt account views. No broken dreams. These are real views. I know, I know it's hard to face the fact that people actually click on my video and listen to what I have to say, but it's true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break the news to you. Your, your leader incel army leader, uh, Darius Truxton is a loser. Okay. He's been pushed away to some other poverty, uh, poverty platform. Yeah, and then and then you're talking about my comment section when Darius Truxton's comments are are unapproved only, like that's so pathetic. He constantly Darius Truxton constantly, constantly says, "Oh, I have real commenters. They're unapproved only. He's only choosing the ones he wants to show you." Yeah, Riley Ross, Cody Dean, TV Crush says you humiliated you humiliated Dean. Yeah, Dean thought that you were level one online, and then you saw then he. Then he realized you weren't because you were like, he was live streaming to whatever. And then Dean TV deleted his comment. That's what all these incel army members do. These rats is that when they get proven wrong, they just delete their comments to pretend like, oh, it never happened. That's what they do. Dean TV, the one who uh, procreated with some fat, disgusting, ugly lesbian, ugly lesbian. Hey, Donald Reed, on your next time on your Keep It Real stream, put a poll up next time and be like, which one of you would actually have intercourse with Dean TV's ex-baby mama? I want to see the results of that. Then she ended up going out um, marrying a uh, lesbian husband. Yeah, Dean TV, how does that feel that your fat, ugly baby mama, baby mama has been exposed? You think you're so cool and you're so tough with the little Kratos bre uh, beard and all that? Yeah, and next thing you know, that that was the most ugliest woman I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, so Murray NJ08 is the one that gave uh, Keith Elwood his verified number. Just another, another cuck that's simping to Darius Truxton. Listen, Murray, Darius Truxton is never going to do anything for you, ever. He has nothing to give out. The guy's poor as hell. All right, he has a dingy, low-income housing apartment. He's never going to do anything for you. He's never going to do anything for any of you uh, rats in your in the Truxton Army. Louis Pereira, you're about to be exposed your whole life. We saw how ugly you were as a child, your poindexter. We see how ugly you are now with your cross-eyed uh, Robocop without a helmet head. Okay, you're about to be exposed more. Is Darius Truxton going to save you? No, he isn't. That's what you get for opening your mouth, protecting some chinless queef in Canada. Yeah, Jack D. Some guy in my last video, Jack D, says, this isn't an alt. I'm banned on Keith's channel's comments approved. For Keith, if you read this, it's your, close, it's your close friend who knows you in real life. Is it is it true a guy from Florida or somewhere around there got you fired from a real life job? Yes. Jack D, who are you? How are you his real life friend? I would like to know if you are telling the truth. How do you know? And then Jack D says, I can't give his personal stuff out. I can't do that to him. He needs to stop hanging around with full-blown weirdos, though. Yeah, Keith has no problem sharing other people's personal info. Do the right thing and share his info. My thing is just look in the Grays Road. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, Visible Light says 291 Grays Road or across the street. Look into that, guys. Yeah, Pongshu, you uh, commented on my last video. You said... Yeah, you're laughing at Darius Trucks and yeah, Freddy Got Fingered is his fam uh, is his favorite movie. Like Darius is such a loser that he looks to these movies as his inspiration. Yeah, Rambo is good, First Blood is good, whatever. Yeah, what do you feel, Pong Show, about the fact that there's a middle-aged guy, Darius Truxton, in his 40s that's never driven a car in his life? What What's your thoughts on the fact that he got fired from his real-world job at Franklin Empire on the assembly line because he couldn't lay off the YouTube? What is your thoughts on that he got married in Final Fantasy XI and then he, got, he creeped the girl out in the game, virtually in the game, he creeped her out. And then they ended up getting a divorce in Final Fantasy XI. What are your thoughts on what are your thoughts on the fact that when uh, Keith Elwood used to work at Boston Pizza, he used to he used to make the servers uncomfortable because he used to just look at their black leggings and just stare at them all day. He made the girl Candace uncomfortable even after she got married. What are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on the fact that? Yeah, he tried to, he tried to, he begged this girl named Ro Rochelle or Rachel, the single mom on YouTube, to text him and talk to him because he has no one else. What are your thoughts on the fact 
that Keith Elwood says that he doesn't have a girlfriend by choice when the truth is that he's an admitted incel that can't land a girlfriend. What girlfriend is going to try to go out and be happy walking along some chinless queef wearing double XL shirts looking like a crackhead? What are your thoughts on the fact that Darius Truxton has no relationship with his parents and his sister hates him, his sister's husband hates him, his mom hates him, his dad hates him, his nephews think he's a weirdo? What are your thoughts on that? Pong Show, what are your thoughts on the fact that Darius Truxton hired a stripper named Destiny to go with him to the Blue Jays game? Like how pathetic, it just blows my mind. How pathetic is that? What are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts, Pong Show, on the fact that Darius Truxton goes to strip bars, uh, strip clubs during the day so that the strippers give him more attention? <laughs> Like, what are your thoughts? It's just ridiculous. What are your thoughts on the fact that Darius Truxton goes to Marineland, which is like a water park. He goes there so he can stare at girls in bathing suits. What are your thoughts on the fact that this guy literally tried to roast, Darius Truxton tried to roast me in one video by bragging that he has a premium futon and an OLED switch. What are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on the fact that there's a dirty vent above his head? And since the day he moved into his low income apartment, he has never once cleaned that dirty vent above his head. Not once. What are your thoughts on... He just lives in filth. Pong Show, what are your thoughts on the fact that he keeps his litter... Cat's litter box in under his sink in his washroom and it just smells up the whole apartment. Like cat urine and cat feces. Like every time he takes a shower once a week, the, the, the moisture and mold like latch onto that litter box and just smells everything up. What are your thoughts on that? Pong Show, what are your thoughts on the fact that Albert Menendez is actually homeless. He has this blue tarp slash tent slash sleeping bag that he carries around with him everywhere he goes. He, he, he rents a motel once every now and then when he has the money. He can't see his two daughters. What, Pong Show, what are your thoughts on the fact that Albert Menendez got caught masturbating in public, police caught him, and then he got arrested? Like, it's just ridiculous. One point after the other after the other, you can see how disgusting and ridiculous the Insul Army members are. A Volp says Slotham will change his channel name and stop with the DT videos just as soon as he gets monetized. No, no, I'll stay monetized and I'll still continue to roast him. I'll do other things too, like play games, maybe Diablo 4, but at the same time, I'll still ro make roast videos. It's not hard doing. It's very easy. While I'm driving, instead of instead of listening to the radio or the CD or the MP3s that I'm listening to in the car, just uh, put the phone on record and talk. How hard is that? It's very easy to do. You should try that, Evolp. Maybe try saying the same statements that you say. Remember, it's very easy to type lies. Very easy. But it's it's hard for some people to talk lies, right? So that's why Evolp, I want to hear him with his own voice say the things that he claims. That's the only way people will believe you. Otherwise, you're just a troll, just like Shinra. You're just there to see the train wreck. Oh, yeah. Lawrence Dagstein, I saw your uh, community post. It's true. I actually tried that before. I typed in Keith Elwood uh, Hamilton in uh, the search bar in Google, and that article did come up too, where it says five people from Hamilton caught with uh, with CP, uh, CP allegations or CP stuff, whatever. I saw that article a long time ago when I typed in his, his name and Hamilton in Google. I saw that. It, it's unfortunate that in that article, it doesn't name names. But I do see what you mean, how when you type in Keith Elwood Hamilton in the Google search bar, that article gets shown. I, I do see that. That is weird. That is very weird. It's something to think about. You're right. You're right. It is something to actually think about because that shouldn't be linked. That shouldn't be. The only thing in that article that links to that search bar is Hamilton, right? Hamilton, Ontario. Because in that article, it also says Hamilton, Ontario. But it shouldn't, I, I don't know, like that's a weird one, right? Who knows? Only Darius Truxton himself, the admitted incel, knows himself. Yeah, Sierra Eyer, that racist prick. We saw a picture of him with a little Adolf Hitler avatar. You said there's another picture of him with a Nazi symbol on his forehead. I would like to see that. Sierra Eyer is someone who actually has a black heart. He's someone who really has hatred toward other races. I know. I know for a fact. So yeah, basically... I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be. It's just going to be making fun of one of the incel army members. 
But yeah, Luis Pereira, like, lay off the YouTube because you're so ugly. I don't want to see you doing in-the-closet stuff. I don't want to see it. It has nothing to do with being offended or it has nothing to do with, oh, you're hitting a nerve. It's just like, I don't want to see that stuff. No one wants to see it. If people say that it's funny, they're, they're, they're in the back of their mind, they're like, this is this weird stuff that no one wants to see. Hey, you can do whatever the hell you want. I'm still going to make fun of you. Look how ugly you are. You're cross-eyed. And with that video that you made today, you're clearly in the closet. Who, who, that, who, tell me someone who, that is not in the closet that would do something like that. Impossible. You're the one that dances weird like that. You're, you're ugly. You're in the closet. You get triggered so easily. You get roasted so easy. You're about to get exposed. Your whole life is about to get exposed. And there's nothing you're going to do except do these weird in the closet videos that no one wants to see. It's disgusting. It's weird. It's just weird stuff, man. Just like stop, stop that weird crap. Go back to like, go back to doing the roast and all that stuff, whatever. But don't do this weird, dirty, ugly stuff. Like it's just, I don't know. It's just weird. Like no one wants to see that crap. Like pe people in the comments are like, oh, it's so funny. But deep inside, you like Donald Reed, you know, like that's some weird, like in the closet stuff like no one wants to no one wants to be around that stuff man. <laughs> it's just, weird. just get that out yeah alt account one says legit question for albert you mentioned that darius truxton is a giving man what's what has he exactly given to anybody that's true like what what actually has darius truxton help you with in your life what what has he done is he gonna e-transfer you 20 bucks one day when you need it no he'd rather buy a uh, uh, two grams of weed and smoke that all right, that's enough. I'm out. Peace.